So this first exercise is just the table of time. I start off with quarter notes, then I go to eighth notes, then triplets, then sixteenth notes, then sixteenth note triplets, and then I go all the way back down in the same order. The reason I like doing it is because it will get you focusing on just your kick technique, nothing else, and you're working on your time all at the same time. The main things you want to focus on is just staying loose and relaxed in your foot, and don't tense up as you're playing. This next exercise is just doubles, but I start off playing them on the downbeat and on the E or the second 16th note, and then I shift them over by one 16th note, and then I do it again, and I do it one more time until I've gone through all the different possibilities for doubles within one measure of music. This is typically what people most need to develop in order to play lots of 16th note grooves, so it's a great place to start, and it can often get you through that kind of brick wall that you often encounter when you're getting into more like intermediate advanced grooves. You want to get these permutations totally memorized and really fluent with them because you'll end up using them forever in loads of different grooves, so just work on them as much as you can. And again, just start slowly and then get them faster and faster and get really confident with them. Accent exercises on the kick are pretty rare for people to work on, and I'm not really sure why. They're a great way to work on just developing your sense of dynamics and volume with your kick, which is something that people often really have almost no control over. Either they're playing super loudly in full blast, like metal rock mode, or they just can't play at all. Or sometimes if they're a jazz drummer, they get used to playing heel down all the time and they can only play quietly. So it's a great way to get exposed to playing quietly and loudly, and it will just increase your sense of control on all fronts. Three note bursts or triples are something that we don't use that often when it comes to playing drum grooves, but if you really want to bulletproof your kick technique, they're a great way to do that. If you can play three note bursts quickly, you can definitely play doubles or even single notes and stuff like that. So try to work on them a little bit and then that will make sure that you're pretty much ready for anything afterwards. This for me is hands down the best exercise you can do just because there's so many different variations you can do and it's kind of endless what you can do with them. I'd highly recommend picking up the book New Breed by Gary Chester. It's an iconic book, and you can start by playing simple 16th note rhythms, and it goes all the way to three note bursts and more in a very stepwise motion, and it will really take you from playing kind of basic 16th note grooves in a comfortable way all the way to faster, more complicated syncopated grooves within a month or two, depending on how much you work on it. And for me personally, once I got used to playing through this book at a good clip, generally speaking, all 16th note grooves just became way, way easier for me. It's something that takes a lot of discipline to get used to because, yeah, you have to be able to read, but once you get used to it, it just opens up so many doors for you in the future. Here's a quick recap of what I showed you guys today. I recommend starting off with the table of time just so you can really isolate your kick and get used to playing with good, solid time. Next, after that, I recommend jumping into doubles. That's typically the most common thing that people really need to work on when they're in that kind of beginner to intermediate phase. And then after that, we jumped into accent exercises. This is something that's really uncommon to do, but it will really get you comfortable playing at quiet and loud volumes. Again, you can work on those with heel up or heel down to make sure you're ready for anything. And after that, we started playing three note bursts or triples so that you're absolutely ready for any kind of super weird groove that might pop up because you never know when you might have to play more than two notes in a row. You might have to do three. You can even try it in fours and stuff like that. That gets a bit crazy though. And then lastly, we jumped into reading exercises. This one takes a little bit to get used to if you're not super comfortable with reading, but it will make sure you're just ready for any kind of syncopated, syncopated rhythm. Uh, and it's a, from a really famous book called New Read by Gary Chester. And that personally, that was the thing that really got me used to playing like anything. Once you can play through New Breed with all these different kick exercises, everything is just easy. So I hope those exercises will help you out. They've personally helped me out a ton. So uh, I'll see you next time.